all of you that the Lord planted her in my ministry to show it how wicked it was. She showed, told you that the Lord planted her in my home, in my bedroom, in my backyard, to tell all of you that she saw no man there. And the Lord just not even three or four days ago drops in my lap an email she sent me four months ago saying that the Lord sent her to my ministry covered by God and to Millions Conference and the King of Glory was there. This word is for you. The Lord says, repent. The Lord said that what you are dealing with is hereditary witchcraft. This is in the bloodline. So she is a witch by hereditary. This is a familiar spirit. And the Lord said it is an ancient spirit talking through her. The Lord told me to tell all of you, look in her eyes. They are black. Her eyes are full of darkness. The Lord said that this young lady has a jealousy spirit, but it's deeper than that. The Bible lets us know that jealousy is as cruel as the grave and that if I had brought her close to me, she would have tried her best to murder me. This young lady is not just a jealous woman. She is a murderous woman. The word of the Lord for you today is to repent or divine judgment is upon your head. What the Lord showed me is both of these women, along with anybody else on social media calling me a false prophet, the Lord said that they have been given over to a lying spirit. Now you will find out more about this lying spirit. I believe it's in first Kings. Uh, let me make sure before I give you a uh, scripture. It's in first Kings. 22. The Lord needed Ahab to die in battle. Go with me to first Kings 22. The Lord needed Ahab to die in battle. And I'm going to tell you how God made that happen. Ahab went to all of his prophets. There were 400 of them. And he said, what is the word for this battle? And all of the false prophets had one word. You're going to win this war. 400 prophets. That's why many of you say everybody can't be wrong about Tiffany. All of these false prophets up. Everybody just simply cannot be wrong about Tiffany. Everybody can't be wrong about Tiffany. According to 1 Kings 22, everybody can be wrong and one person can be right. So 400 people. And then Jehoshaphat says, no, I'm gonna need a prophet of God. I need to find a prophet of God. I need some help. And he said, I got, I got Micaiah for you. And he goes, Ahab goes, I don't like him. He don't never prophesy nothing good to me. I don't like him. I need prophecies of house, cars, clothes, money. I need prophecies of marriage. I need prophecies of all of this. He just tell me I need to repent or I'm going to turn or God is going to, I don't want to hear him. And Jehoshaphat said, I'm not going to war. I need to hear the word of the Lord from a man of God. Go with me to verse 21. So while they're having this discussion, God is trying to figure out, not trying to figure out God is God, but he's like, I need somebody to take him down. So he says in verse 20, who shall persuade Ahab that he will go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? Who will persuade Celestial to go on social media to say Tiffany's name so that she will do it so that she can fall? And one said on this manner and another said on this manner. But in verse 21, it says, and there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. Verse 22 says, how? God said, how? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all of his prophets. And he said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also go forth and do it. Now, therefore, behold, the Lord has put a lying spirit in the mouth of all of these prophets and the Lord hath spoken evil concerning thee. You can read all of this on your own whenever you get a chance. But when the lying spirits told Ahab that he was going to win this war. And Micaiah said, if I be a man of God, you will not come back from this war alive. He died because of the lying prophet. Celestial has gone on long enough with her lies to the entire body of Christ. A lying spirit has gone out amongst her and all the others. Anybody that you see get on social media, say that Tiffany is a false prophet, has been given over to a lying spirit to make it easier for you to mark them. Now, what are the consequences for these people? You have lied Right, guys so there you have you know i'm, I'm gonna continue because i have to stop it you know youtube so tiffany has you know she has pr pronounced whatever these judgments right to joanne to uh celestial okay and anybody who has come on this platform okay and says that tiffany 
is a false prophet, you have a lying spirit. Okay? So, either uh, all of us are wrong. Anybody who has come on this platform and said that Tiffany is a false prophet, we are all, we are all wrong. Tiffany is correct. God does not work with the majority. Okay? One person could be right. The rest could be wrong. Okay, so once again, even where she took us, right, this is, you know, is telling you the story, the narrative of what happened, of the results of the false prophets. Nothing to do with Tiffany. Okay, nothing to do with Tiffany. There will always be false prophets. Okay, news flash. False teachers will always be there. Okay, the New Testament, three quarters of it is written, what? Warning the church against what? Against false teachers. Back in the Old Testament, warning against what? Against false prophets. Okay? I mean, what, what was Jezebel doing? How many did he kill Jezebel? Why was he killing them? Huh? Jezebel was killing uh, the prophets of God left and right. That's why Elijah was like, God, I'm the only one who is left. This woman seeks to what to kill me. What did God say? I have 700 who have not bowed the knee. Okay? You are not the only one. So this is, this is not the first of Tiffany to pretend that she is the, two, uh, the true prophetess, okay? Out here, people who are calling her that she's a fake prophet, they are the ones who are lying. Nuh -uh. Celestial false prophetess. Tiffany false prophetess. Joanne Gabriel false prophetess. All of them and their club, they are all false. 100% false. Absolutely false. So... If Tiffany is out here calling anybody who's calling her that she is a false prophet, that they have a lying spirit, Tiffany is the one who has a lying spirit because Tiffany is lying about the scriptures. We are not measuring Tiffany by, you know, just because you like her or you don't like her. Like, no, whatever you're saying, Sister Tiffany, is not matching up to the scriptures, okay? All the scriptures that you went to have got nothing to do with you. You are putting yourself in the scriptures. That's not how you read your Bible. You are doing it wrong. So you also need to repent. You also need to repent and start using the scriptures correctly. Okay. Who called you to be a prophetess? When did that happen? What evidence do you have? None of those things do exist. So you need to show us according to the scriptures. You've already lied by saying that says the Lord, this, that, and the third. So even the curses that you're pronouncing on Celestial, yes, she's also a false teacher herself. They don't even match up. So, you know... That is not going to faze us. We read our Bibles over here. Okay? The people who you are manipulating, you know, they can figure that out. But, you know, we, we, we are good over here. We're good over here. All right, guys. Let's, uh, let's continue. Now she's coming after anybody who has called her a false prophetess. So this message is for all of y'all. Okay? <laughs> you might not have a YouTube channel. But if you believe that Tiffany Montgomery is a false prophetess, this applies to you. Okay, so this is, you know, like we, you know, all these things, we want people to repent and believe the gospel and for the true God. There's people who are doing these things because they're deceived. And there's people who are doing these things and knowingly they're taking advantage of the sheep. So three quarters of the New Testament is a warning. Secret people have crept in and noticed, okay, to spy on your liberty, to bring in these heresies, these false teachings. Contrary to what the word of God already teaches. They are telling us that they are hearing from God. So we should abandon the scriptures. That way we can be following them because they happen to have VIP sitting with God. Absolutely not. So let's continue. From the Holy Ghost. You have said, thus saith the Lord, when the Lord has not spoken to you. And the Lord tells me to say to you, as he said to Paul, who was on his way to go kill a village of people, why are you persecuting me? I need you to understand that Paul was on his way to go kill people and God did not tell Paul, why are you getting ready to persecute my people? God took it personal. And God said, why are you persecuting me? The consequences for these people coming up against me, coming up against Kevin Ewing, and I won't list any other names because I don't know them like I know Kevin Ewing. I know Kevin Ewing, Minister Kevin Ewing's life behind the scenes. 
As you all know, I have been saved very publicly. You have seen some very public battles that I've had with people that were close to me and people that were strangers to me. I hope you know that I am now more vigilant than ever with who I share platform with and who I endorse. I know Minister Kevin Ewing behind the scenes and he is a man of God. He is a man who fears God. He is a husband of one wife. His wife is a woman of God. God takes it personal when you persecute his own. The Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. That doesn't cover. <laughs> Come on, Tiffany. You even had to use a scripture? Come on. Okay. But the, you know what, guys? Just be, the fact that she has whipped up that scripture, that alone. You should just know that she's a false prophetess, okay? If you don't have anything else, if she just bring that out, you should be like, Tiffany, you're a false prophetess because you brought that scripture. Touched on my anointing. This, this is the scripture that all oh, the false teachers use. If you want to know who the false teacher is, if they bring up that verse, that should just, that's it. They don't have to do anything else. <laughs> They don't have to do anything else. So uh, this uh, gentleman, uh, Ewing, I've heard about him. I'm not familiar about him. But the fact that he co-signs Tiffany Montgomery as a prophetess, I question his discernment. So I'm not familiar as, as far as his ministry is concerned. Okay, But the fact that he co-signs Tiffany Montgomery, I do question his, uh, his discernment. So I don't think he's, he's sound, okay? I'm not familiar about him, so be that as it may. We are, uh, uh, this is the, the Tiffany situation. Then Tiffany is telling us that she's being persecuted. What does she mean that she's being persecuted? Tiffany is not being persecuted. And even if she was persecuted, First Timothy says what? All who desire to live godly lives will be persecuted. Persecution. Suffering is part and parcel of being a Christian, of being a believer. It's just a matter of when you are going to face persecution. And people are going to face persecution in different situations, in different circumstances. It's part and parcel of somebody being a Christian. So if you are a true Christian, persecution is, it, it, you know, it comes with it. Okay? But if people are saying, they are showing the things that you have said, Tiffany, okay? And if you have spoken things that do not match according to the scripture and they are calling that out, that is not persecution. If anything, you should stop and consider. Be like, wait a minute, did I miss something? Is there some truth to this? Okay, let me check, let me find out. Is it I, Lord? Am I the one who is wrong? Show me. What, what do I need to change? Do I need to repent? Which direction, what do I need to do? Those are the things that you should be looking, examining yourself to see that you are in the faith instead of you being out here calling people witches and everything else that they may be. You see what I'm saying? Like, no. OK, so, you know, whatever issues you have with the celestial, that's a whole different whole matter. But what about the people who are not in this camp of yours, who are calling you out like, OK, the things that you're doing is not matching up to the scripture. And then you're just out here just throwing out that they have a lying spirit just because they are calling you out. No, it should not be so. It should not be so like stop. OK, stop and examine yourself and see if the things uh, if people what are saying is true. Okay, if people what are saying is true, is it matching with the scriptures? Because all the stuff that you brought out over here, you know, nothing to do with you. That doesn't cover you. That doesn't cover only the people behind the mic on a stage, on a platform with a large following. That also covers the 20 year olds and the 25 year olds and the five year olds and the three year olds. Touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm. Also count for the babies in your bellies. And for all of you who believed these lies, the Lord says, repent. Go with me to Romans chapters one through 30, chapters one, verse 32. But I want to read it from you out of the Amplified Bible. Romans chapter one, verse 42, 32 out of the Amplified. 
Though you are fully aware of God's righteous decree that those who do these such things deserve to die, they not only do them themselves, but you approved and you applauded others who practice this wickedness. That's what it says in the Amplified. Though you were fully aware of God's righteous decree and you're fully aware that these diviners and these sorcerers and these false prophets and these young people that you think is just a babe in Christ when they have an ancient demon working through them. He said, you not only did it yourself, but you approved and you applauded them in your comments. I told you at the last cover by God, God was going to judge you for every amen you give to a false prophet. I heard the Lord say, for those of you that believe these people who follow these people on social media, you are equally as guilty according to the word of God and you will meet the same judgment that's headed to them. It, Tiffany has just pronounced judgment. So we're out here, Celestial, Joanne and Tiffany, you are all in the same boat. Okay, just going, you are in the same world as going in different directions with whatever else that you're doing. But at the core, at the base, you don't have the truth according to the scriptures. So for you to, fine, if you want to pronounce judgment with, with your people over there, you can do all that. Okay, but what we are saying out here, Tiffany Montgomery, you, whatever you're doing with your ministry, Okay, you lied that you're married and then you're not. You lied about the husband, you're not. You're lying out here that God told you all these scriptures that you, you, you have mentioned. Those people out here have a lying tongue. They have a lying spirit. So you are the one who is lying. So we are just saying the things that you're saying, they are not matching the scriptures. So what about that? What response do you have to that? What response do you have to that? So I, I don't understand. Okay. So this is also the manipulative thing that Tiffany is going to do. Make everybody feel guilty for, you know, whatever people who follow Celestial and all these people, right? They're going to feel guilty. So they should stay with her because she is the one who is the true, uh, true prophetess, right? So you, you are in the comments, you're whatever, you're giving her the approval. So that judgment is going to come to you. Like, no, 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 no. You know what I mean? He's talking about Romans 1. Okay. Romans 1, this is God giving people over to their sinful desires. And instead of people calling out, these people are busy worshiping idols. These people have turned women to become men and vice versa. We need to be calling it out. We need to be shouting out. But when we are not, it's like we are the ones who are giving her the approval. So what you're saying actually applies to us, Tiffany. We are the ones, we don't want to give her the approval. That's why we are calling you, Tiffany, to repent. We are calling you, Celestial, to repent. Joanne, all of you to repent. We, that's it. We want you to be the side the, with the scriptures. Okay. Some truth here, some truth there is just not going to cut it. Just because you have, quote unquote, a successful platform, that doesn't mean the things that you're doing, uh, God approves of those things. Okay. No. The, I mean, the rich people, where are they? They're in Hollywood. Okay. They are out there in California. But everything they have about them has got nothing to do with God. Okay, they just have these riches, the success of this world, right? But we know that whatever their lifestyle is about. So no, no. okay? So you pronouncing, uh, out here pro pro pronouncing these curses to, uh, you know, like, why are you doing that? So it tells me that you don't want any correction. Okay, you, 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 you are, it, what I'm not noticing is pride. It's too much pride. Okay, that's pride because nobody can say anything to correct uh, Tiffany. Tiffany cannot be corrected. She should just be followed. That's all. You just follow what she says. You can never disagree with Tiffany. You cannot disagree with Tiffany. You need to join her. If not, you are the problem. That's the message that I'm getting from her. And we truly reject that. That is not of God. That is not of God. So let's uh, listen some more. And other servants of God are truly chosen by God. If we are truly in right standing with God, you too will be held accountable and you will meet the same judgment as these diviners and sorcerers who have so easily bewitched you.
Go with me to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. We're going to start at verse 10. He says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness and them that perish because they receive not the love of truth that they may be saved. Now, this is what's going to happen to you because you receive not the love of truth. There will be many watching this live that will not care what I said, even though I walked them through scripture every point of the way. This is your punishment because you receive not the, tr not the love of truth that you might be saved. He said, verse 11, and for this cause, God will send you a strong delusion that you will believe the lie. Your reward for ignoring this warning on this live today will be the strong delusion that that God sends to you. Verse 12, here's your other warning, that you all might be damned who believed not the truth, but you had pleasure in unrighteousness. You had pleasure in watching these people smear our names online. You had pleasure in sitting in your bed, rubbing your ashy feet together, scrolling and sharing these things. There was even a man that is a minister at a church in Maryland who sent the false prophet, the sorceress's TikTok to his group chat for the church. And one of the leaders left that church and sent me the group chat. And she said, Tiffany, they don't have to like you, but you are not a false prophet. And the fact that that pastor in that Maryland branch was too blind to see that he shared the thing of a sorceress. The Lord said, you all will be damned because you believe not the truth and you took pleasure in unrighteousness. The word delusion means a wandering. The word delusion means a straying about. It means deceit, fraud. She misunderstands with everything that's going on over here. Okay. All the stuff that we, for us playing this video, right? Walking through whatever she's saying. We do not take pleasure in this. People's souls are at stake. There's a lot of people who follow Tiffany Montgomery. A lot of people who follow Celestial. These people have influence. And their influence is beyond the American borders. Just because, you know, like... It is incumbent upon if if what you're doing is definitely of the Lord, we'll be out here celebrating. We'll be out here and then telling people like, guys, be sure to follow this lady. Be sure to support. Be sure to follow. We are out here warning. So because you have this big platform, to whom much is given, much is required. Okay? So it's not about you. Don't take it personal. You're taking it personal. You are out here pronouncing judgments to people who are pointing the error that you are in. All of you. Okay. We've already played uh, Celestial. We are playing your video right now. So even the things that you're saying, they do not match you being somebody who, who is a prophetess, right? You call yourself to be a prophetess. It doesn't match. You are not a prophetess. So if people are saying these things, you need to take these things seriously. Because there's people who are following you unknowingly. Because they believe with whatever you're doing. So, you know, learn something. At least we're not celebrating. There's no celebrating over here. Okay? Like, you know, Jude says, snatch people out of the fire. Even hating their own garments. These are the things that we're supposed to be doing, right? We need to be calling out on the rooftops. Right? And the highways and byways. That's what we're trying to do over here. There's no celebration. We do not celebrate when people are promoting falsehood. Okay, you're saying over here, that says the Lord, and the Lord hasn't said. That's a problem. So people are going to be repeating the things that you're saying. Okay, so no, not, not, no, uh, not at all. So it, it, that's not good. It means that you are in error and in wrong opinions. It means that you have been given over to deception. That's what delusion meant. He said you have been given over to a strong delusion. The word damned meant that judgment has been pronounced on you. The word damned means judgment has been pronounced on you. The word damned means that you have been condemned. The word damned means that you have been sentenced. Can we be clear that this was not Tiffany cursing anybody? I only simply read you the word of God. Can we be clear? Can I see everybody in the comment before? Somebody, can, we, can I just be clear? Tiffany's not cursing anybody. It's just the word of God. It seems like they cursed themselves. Can we be clear? It seems like we cursed themselves. They, 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 did they curse themselves or did Tiffany did it? Are we crystal clear? Can we be clear that the Bible says that there's a reason why this curse fell upon you? Because this is a warning to the entire body of Christ that he says, if you do not take this warning and you don't receive the love of truth and that you might be saved, this is your, this is your, this is what's going to happen to so you. It's going to feel like a curse that you've been given over to a strong delusion that you're going to believe a lie that you're going to be damned or in other words judgment has been pronounced on you
This is a call to repentance or receive divine judgment. You don't have no other options. Those of you that know me know I don't do lives like this. I find no pleasure in doing lives like this. The word of the Lord for you is to repent, is to renounce every agreement you came into with celestial. That woman is operating from an ancient demon. She is a sorceress and the Lord said she was a soul hunter. She is causing God's people to turn from him and to follow false messages. And the Lord said he is against her. The call for you, Celestial, and everybody on here that listened to any prophetic word she gave is to repent or divine judgment is upon your head. This seems to have nothing to do with this lie, but I'm going to say it and then I'm going to tell you what the Lord charge, is going to charge us to do for the next seven days. But the Lord told me to honor all of the intercessors that go nameless in the body of Christ. He told me to honor all of the intercessors that you have never gotten your flowers. You have never been recognized and nobody even remembers your name. The Lord said that these intercessors are likened unto Navy SEALs who go on secret missions in the realm of the spirit. And even when they have saved an entire nation in order to keep their identity protected, they have to not be shown. The Lord said that although we have not recognized you because we don't know who you are, the Lord said, I have not forgotten about you. You have been recognized for your victories in the spirit. And I heard the Lord say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our charge for the next seven days, body of Christ, we will meet on YouTube to pray at midnight starting tonight. At midnight, every day for the next seven days. What if the Bible is true and our prayers are strong enough to tear down evil altars? What if the Bible is true and our prayers are strong enough to tear down high places? What if the Bible is true and our prayers are strong enough to wake an entire body of Christ? So now she's, that's the manipulative manipulation of uh, Tiffany Montgomery in full gear. She ended up calling out, quote unquote, these intercessory prayers, right? Like that, that is very strategic. Okay. She's not going to name them because she doesn't know who they are. And even if she does, but it's like, okay, these people are praying for me so that all these people, they can come together in their prayer against uh, this celestial, against all these people who are speaking against uh, uh, Tiffany. So if, guys, this is simple, okay? If Tiffany is a true prophetess of God, anybody who is fighting against Tiffany, it will it, 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 come to surface. Remember when the, when the disciples, right? They were arrested. Okay, and these Pharisees, the Sanhedrin, what did they say? It says, you know what? If this thing is from God and we are fighting against them, we'll find ourselves that we are fighting against God and you can never win that battle. But if it's not real, guess what? It will not go, it will not go, it will not go far. So the same way, if Tiffany is for real, right? If Tiffany is for real, she's a true prophetess. And we are out here saying that she is not. And anybody else who's out here that's saying that she is not. Because she's true, she will prevail. Because God is going to make sure that she does prevail. Okay? Because you can never fight against God. You see what I'm saying? So, if Celestia, if Tiffany, if Joanne, if all these ladies are true prophetesses, and we are out here saying that they are not, but they are, they will, they are going to prevail because God is with them. There's nothing we can do, no matter how hard we try. But if they're out here, Tiffany Montgomery, if you are out here and you are pronouncing these judgments and you're pronouncing these curses upon people, hey, <laughs> sister, you should repent. That's all I can tell you because you're going to find yourself fighting against God because you are lying on behalf of God. That's even more dangerous on your behalf. 
it is a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living God. I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. So you have gone way too far. You have gone even outside the bounds of quote-unquote of prophets. Even the prophet uh, Elijah or even Paul. What does Paul say even in um, Romans 11? What does it say? It says, I even wish that he, I could, uh, you know, he's talking about the salvation here, right? Like he is pleading for his people. Okay, Israel people. He is pleading for them because they've gone so far from God. And he's actually wishing, I wish that I could even exchange my salvation on their behalf. This is Paul. I'm paraphrasing here. Not only that, Moses. Moses is even telling God like he, God save them, even strike me. So even Moses is willing to sacrifice himself for his own people. But we have Tiffany here. She's too holy. She's the prophetess that she's willing to pronounce curses and judgment on people. And she's calling herself a prophetess of God. Where do you find that in scripture where the prophets are taking pleasure in pronouncing judgments on people? You're not going to find it. You are not going to find it. The only way you're going to find it, you're going to find Elijah. But what happened? It because you have this bear, Jezebel killing people, people turning away from God. They are worshiping these people and he and annihilated all of them. So we have over here the, the, the prophet Stephanie, who is out here so comfortable pronouncing judgments on people. And then on the other hand, he's saying, I'm, I'm, I'm calling you guys to repent. Which is it, Tiffany? Is it judgment or are you calling people to repent? You cannot have it both ways. So you are the one who's celebrating. You are celebrating in pronouncing judgment on people. God does judge people. God does judge the nations. But God is very, very patient. That's why Peter says, do not count the patience of God as slowness. But he's wishing so many people to come to repentance. How many things have we done over and over and over and over again in our sinfulness? But God, his messes are new every day. Why? Why are his messes new every day? It's, you know, seeking us. We're out here like in 99, right? He leaves the 99 but goes for one. Why? Because that's God's grace. He's gracious. He's merciful. But out here, Tiffany... She has reached her limits that now she's just going to, voila, I'm just going to pronounce judgment. These people who have a lying spirit. That is not a uh, heart of a prophetess. If anything, she should be out here pleading in sackcloth and ashes for people to repent, to come to Christ. For her to be extending like, okay, you guys are calling me this. I've, I've forgiven you. You can call me names, whatever else you do, but I'm pleading for you guys, for your souls and everything else. That's not what she has done. She's out here proving to us that she's a true prophetess. Anybody, everybody else in cahoots who is calling her all these other things, you are the one who is actually wrong. So that's how you know that she is not a true prophetess because her heart is not for the people. Her heart is to prove everybody else wrong that she is the one who is right. Her heart is to manipulate people to be on her side. Her heart is to call out this judgment and curses and pronounce this person is the witch, this, that, and the third. What the, the one thing you have to know, like when people are actually witch, you cannot tell that they're actually witches. Okay, witches they know each other, you know, a witch is going they, they know each other that they're witches, but you cannot just call out that this person is a witch, you cannot tell if somebody is a witch, okay, because those are the things people do in our cut in a dark world. But be that as it may, just you being a godly woman, you should be wishing for people. To come to Christ instead of you pronouncing judgment on them. You know, but the Jude, right? Even Jude, the angels actually says that they, even them, they, they, they didn't even pronounce judgment. Okay. They'll be like, no, no. You see what I'm saying? Like, no, we, we, we're not going to be the ones pronouncing judgment. Okay. That, that's God. Okay. Let God be the judge. You be faithful in doing what God has called you to do. Don't be too quick pronouncing judgment on people. That's very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. I'm very disturbed by her, you know, because she was out here pronouncing uh, uh, judgment because people have disagreed with you. Like, that's, I'm very troubled. That's, don't, this woman. Mm -mm. From their spiritual slumber. What if the Bible is true? 
And our prayers are strong enough to silence the voice and weaken the influence of false prophets, diviners, and sorcerers. What if the Bible is true? And he says in Romans 3, 4, let God be true and every man be a liar. If you would like to join us, follow me. Go to www.coveredbygod.co. Enter your name and email address. Check your spam folder for the introduction email, and I will email the link out to pray for the next seven days. We will meet right here on Facebook, and we will pray together. We will come together on one accord and pray. Heaven has one focus. It's not Tiffany. It's not your favorite pastor. It's not your favorite message. It's not your favorite psalmist. It's not your favorite word. Heaven has one focus, and his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus, King of kings, Lord of lords, God of all gods, judge of all judges. Heaven has one focus. Heaven has one interest, and his name is Jesus. I end by saying that your fight is not against me, people of God. It's against God. You touch me, you have touched the apple of God's eye. But let me let this be one more and last. The apple of God's eye, according to the scripture, is in reference to Israel. God has chosen chose the Israel, not because of anything that they have done, but God to show himself mighty. Okay? So he referred to, to them as the apple of his eye. So now Tiffany has just elevated herself that she is the apple of God's eye. So what about the rest of us? Hmm? So no. Once again, she has demonstrated that she is actually a very uh, prophetess. Okay? She is a false prophetess. She has demonstrated that. So that, that is manipulative, uh, beyond judgmental, pronouncing curses on people, pronouncing judgment on people, and then people are coming after, who is coming after Tiffany? Okay, people, you know, scripture, you know, scripture interprets scripture. So you brought scripture, we reference to the scripture and say like, no, what you're saying is not matching with the scripture. So not only that, she's threatening people. So like people shouldn't say anything because uh, uh, Tiffany is, uh, like I said, if this woman is truly, Sent by God, a prophetess of God. If that, if that she is that, then whatever else is happening is not going to rise to anything else. But we believe in the scripture, Hebrews 1.1. 1, 1. Long ago in many times, God spoke through our fathers and the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us through his son, whom he made the heir of all things. So we know. That we have more sure the prophetic word to which you, Tiffany, you do well to pay attention to. Instead of you coming in here left and right, telling us, that says the Lord. God told you this. God told you that. And God did not say those things to you. So you are lying on God. So, no. We call audible on that one. We reject that fully. We reject it. So you can invoke the, the name of Jesus. The demons know about Jesus and they tremble. Okay, they know. The devil knows the scriptures and he knows how to quote the scriptures, but he's still the devil. Judas raised people from the dead, guys. He was one of the 12. Okay. He walked with Jesus, ate with Jesus, but he was still Judas. And we know how he ended up with him. So, you know, this is not going to phase us. Okay. So it's not going to phase us. We're going to stand on the truth of the word of God and the word of God does not change. I do not permit a woman to teach or to exercise authority over a man. Rather, she should remain quiet because Adam was formed first. Eve is the one who was deceived. Tiffany preaches and teaches to men in contradiction with the scriptures. So no, we reject that Tiffany. We read our Bibles out here. So let's finish this, this judgment, the curses that Tiffany has pronounced all, all on us. Nor what's happening to me, because I thought it was just about me. And all of you that have spiritual eyes, you can see, you've, you've all seen, it's been an increase of people coming against Tiffany. It's an increase of it. It's not about me. It's, it's try, I have hit an altar in the nation, and they're trying to discount my voice and turn an entire body against God's prophets. I heard the Lord say that if we don't stop this in intercession, because this is not a flesh and blood fight, God loves celestial. 
He wants this woman who is a witch, a sorceress, a diviner, a soul hunter. He wants her to turn back to him. He loves her. He died on the cross for her. He wants her saved. But God told us, do not tolerate her. Do not tolerate these false prophets. He said, if you allow them to grow in numbers, they are coming for you next. Don't think because you're not on the front line of the war in the body of Christ, they won't come for you next. Don't think because you're at home and you sit in the 12th pew of the church and you just slide in and slide out and nobody knows who you are. They're not coming for you next. I'm telling you now, there is an assignment against the entire body of Christ to take them down. And for you, I didn't forget about you. Woman of, woman of God, man of God, that knew that these people were false prophets and you stay silent. The Lord said, repent. God did not call you to silence. He said, the years of battle fatigue has beat you into submission and beat you into silence because you have been chastised and punished for speaking out. But the Lord said, I am the one that called you, not your pastor, and you are going to be held accountable. And the blood will be on your hands, woman of God. The blood will be on your hands, man of God. The more you continue to see people are false and you decide to keep it to yourself, I heard the Lord tell me to tell you to repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Have a good night and God bless you all. There you have it. Okay. So the stuff that she says at the end of that, right back at you, Tiffany, right back at you, Tiffany. We are not going to stay silent. Okay. We're going to warn people. We're going to warn people in hopes that they may come to repentance. That's it. We are not out here pronouncing judgment on people. Unlike you pronouncing uh, judgments, uh, on people here because they've disagreed uh, with you guys. Uh, Jude, beloved, although I was very eager to write to you about your common salvation, I found it necessary to write appealing to you to contend for the faith that was once delivered to the saints. For certain people have crept in unnoticed who long ago were designated for this condemnation ungodly people who pervert the grace of our God into sensuality and deny our only master and the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I want to remind you, although you once fully know it, that Jesus who saved the people out of the land of Egypt, remember, like I said, she went to Exodus, but every time this is just reminding the Jewish people, you have to remember the God of Abraham, I, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, who brought you out of a house of slavery, Egypt, right? This is the covenant God, the covenant keeping God. People of the land of Egypt afterward destroyed those who did not believe. And the angels who did not stay within their own position of authority, but left their proper dwelling. He has kept in eternal chains under gloomy darkness until the judgment of the great day. Just as Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding cities which likewise indulged in sexual immorality and pursued a natural desire, serve as an example by undergoing a punishment of eternal fire. Yet, in like manner, these people also, relying on their dreams, defile the flesh, reject authority, and blaspheme the glorious ones. But when the archangel Michael, contending with the devil, was disputing about the body of Moses, he did not presume to pronounce a blasphemous judgment but said, the Lord rebuke you, but these people blaspheme all that they do not understand. And they are destroyed by all that they like. Unreasoning animals understand instinctively what to them. For they walked in the way of Cain and abandoned themselves for the sake of gain to Balaam's error and perished in Korah's rebellion. These are hidden reefs at your love feast. As they feast with you without fear, shepherds feeding themselves waterless crowds. Swept along by winds, fruitless trees in late autumn, twice dead, uprooted, wild waves of the sea, casting up the form of their own shame and wandering stars, from whom the groom of utter darkness has been reserved forever. Okay? So, I skipped that one, okay? But you, beloved, this is what we should be doing, okay? But you, beloved, building yourselves up in your most holy faith, and praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of God, waiting for the mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ that leads to eternal life. And have mercy on those who doubt. Save others by snatching them out of the fire. To others, show mercy with fear, hating even the garments stained by their flesh. This is what we strive to be, having mercy on people, not pronouncing judgments like Tiffany Montgomery does. 
cursing people. Like, what are you doing if you are a prophetess of God? So, we have already demonstrated that she's not by her desire of wanting to pronounce judgment on people and putting herself in the scriptures. That's nothing to do with her. So, guys, like I said, there's more about Tiffany and there's more about other prophetesses. So, we're going to do another live and dive in and talk about these things. So, even if we save one person who has been deceived by these false prophetesses, it will be honor and glory to God. Okay? Somebody else said some truth to us. Okay? Was were such were some of you, but you were washed, right? You were justified. So, you know, like, yeah, there goes I, right, by the grace of God, okay? So uh, we, we call out for Tiffany Montgomery to repent, to stop promoting falsehood. We call out Celestial to repent, to stop promoting falsehood, okay? And all other false teachers, okay? Be godly women who are known by their good works with the fruit of the Spirit, Ozing all over the place, not pronouncing curses and judgment on people. All right, guys, that is all that I had for you guys today. I hope you find this to be informative to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and X. Make sure you leave a comment on this video. Until next time, remember to be in the now. Thank you.